very simple to do. And I'm going to be tracing it. Which makes it even more simpler. <laughs> uh, on here, I have each layer for a different color. This one is white. Obviously. This one is black. And this one is one of Paul Graham's uh, newest fly paper uh, texture. So I put that up. Now, here, if you guys have been uh, watching, is, is my latest uh, creation. I'll probably put that up in the winter one. But I figured, all right, here's a good opportunity to show you that it doesn't take some major $500 lesson to figure this out. Just take your layer, make sure that there's a white layer underneath, turn down the opacity, open a new layer, go to the brushes. And can you guys hear me? I'm going to mess with the microphone in a second. Ready? Sorry about that. If that didn't bother you, I'm going to do it again. All right. <laughs> All right. Go to this little flower or gear or cookie and go down to, uh, where is it? It's supposed to be dry something. Dry. Dry media brushes, right? Pop that in. You're going to get some charcoal-looking type stuff. <laughs> and I'm using this charcoal-looking type stuff called number 36. Good name, 36. <laughs> Now, this is going to be too big for me. That's why I had turned it down to 16. I, right? Right. Say right. He is. Right. Turn it down to 16. Stick with what you know, right? Now, undo. And just follow. Zoom her in. If you don't have the navigator, it's just so much easier just to pop it up. I mean, that's the intensity of my eye there, which looks like my dad's eye. So you didn't have to buy special brushes. You didn't have to pay $500 for a lesson. And my pen is not running if I go fast at the same time because of the recorder. But look, this is all you need to do, right? Well, you don't want to make little fences like that, you know. Just, um... There you go. Thank you. Don't go that fast. Make mines. And then I made a new layer and just switched over to why how easy is this? And 
did the beard hair. So, what I got was this. And if you turn off the picture, you're not going to see the white that much. But, you know, the more detail you put in this, the better it's going to look. Let's throw that on there. You could use any type of parchment paper. Just Google parchment paper. You can use any type. And if you want to go back to tracing, make sure to turn on your layer. Turn this off. And to continue tracing. I'm going to stick to the black layer right now. Change this over to black. Put in some more detail. I do a lot of minimalism. This isn't minimalism. Turn this on, see what we got. See? It's not that hard. You could turn, let's say we wanted this paper gray instead. Just go to the adjustments. Desaturate it. Does that look better? Of course it does. <laughs> so there it is. Cool. Bye.